So just a minute ago, I talked about this abstract called freedom and the number of ways to get to any sort of sort of personal freedom has to be as variable as the number of people on the planet, so billions and billions of ways of getting there. And if you judge somebody on their ability to get there, then you're stuck in judgment. You're stuck in your mind judging them on how they can get there. And I said that my wife and I had a discussion where she'd made some conclusions up that she thought were true, and they sounded logically true. And when she finally saw that they weren't true, it caused us an immense amount of delight. Uh, both of us, as she saw the fictitiousness of her mind-created reality. But my wife has written a book, and it's a parenting book, and one of the unique things about my wife's parenting book is that it is open-ended, as I think it has to be. If you write a parenting book, or any book for that matter, on, on human potential or the, the development of the human, and you say, this is the way things are, you're full of an inferior grade of bullshit. Excuse my vernacular. But every child is so different, every parent is so different, that if you set up rules for them, it's going to become a dogma, and it's untrue the instant you say that this is the way things are. If you read my wife's book, there will be ways to do things and ways to suggest that you adapt to do things so you can raise your kids as curious, happy individuals that keep their aliveness and vitality forefront and do what they want to this lifetime and enjoy life. But my wife, Brett, wrote the book. A friend of ours, the late Barney Zick, got a publisher to look at it. The publisher was starting a new department in human potential work or whatever you want to call this. And the they sent it to a editor. Now the editor was from what I could listen to my wife going through because they went through and they edited it and they brought rules in and they made conclusions. And you know, uh, Richard Jenny said God is love, love is blind, therefore Ray Charles is God. These silly syllogisms, things of logic that don't make any sense sometimes. But this person, this editor, would go through and put two and two together and come up with four when the two and two didn't make four. The two and two was an open-ended thing that anything is possible. And with your children, because they're so different and so unique, that you have to look and see each time how they're different and unique, There, then you can parent them appropriately. But my wife's reading a book that didn't, she said, oh my God. I said, what? She said, I know how to get to personal freedom. I'm like, whoa, I'm right. I said, whoa, how do you know that? Because I'm always curious about that because it is so elusive. And she said, I said, how do you know? How do you know? How do you know? She said, it's written in my book. Right? And she went through this system of logic. Somebody had taken this and that and put this, and therefore you will be spiritually free in your life. And it was like, so erroneous for, I don't know, maybe 6.666 or, well, that's an interesting number, billion people on the planet, but definitely 98% of the people, they can't go there following that formula because the formula is bullshit. Her book is based on raising children with vitality. If you know how to do a better job, do it. If you don't, and, in that, and that is your concern, go ahead and take a look at the book. It also puts a lot of the rules or a lot of the ways we live in our life. Rules is a funny thing, but rule number one Mick has fun. <laughs> Talk to you soon.